Hello ladies, welcome back to the channel for Sovereign Sunday. So just a quick video for today on identifying toxic people. So toxic just means that they are unhealthy, you know, they don't, people like that don't have a healthy way of relating to other people and they don't have a strong sense of who they are. And that's going to lead to them devouring other people and kind of treating other people as objects to consume in order to fill that void that's within them. So how do you identify them? Well, in today's video, you're going to learn the keys to flushing people like this out of your life and how to spot them and their, their games so that, you, so that you don't get sucked into that unhealthy cycle with them. So the first question to ask yourself is where are you living from? You know, either we're living from the essence, which is the innate true part of who you are, and then there's living from the masquerade. You know, the masquerade is the fear, all of that wounded imprinting, all of the wounded programming from your childhood. And it's important to understand what part of you that you're operating from, because the masquerade has gaps in it. So that means it's going to make you more susceptible to predators, because you're going to have, it's going to have you, you know, those unresolved issues are going to have you recreating these cycles of abandonment and attracting people who use you and want to control you. Whereas your essence is when you are a self-source. So being self-source means that you are embodied in your strength and you have a solid understanding of who you are. You know, it's not about perfection, but it's more about you not looking to be saved by anybody. You know, it's going to have you seeking interdependence, which is a very healthy give and take between two people who honor one another as souls. So if you are carrying past hurts and wounds that are not yet integrated and resolved, those pieces of you are going to be looking to rush into situations without really thinking clearly. It's going to have you investing your heart and your trust into people when they haven't really earned it yet and it's going to have you looking for the answer to who you are externally in other people. Whereas living from the essence has you pacing the process of intimacy with other people. And that could be either with friends, potential partners, or even business associates. You know, when you're not being self-sourced means that you're not going to be desperate or needy. You know, you're going to take your time to assess the character of people to make sure that they are who they say they are. You know, being self-sourced means that you stop relying on like chemistry and falling into those fairy tales and you're, you're truly able to see clearly and you see other people clearly be before moving forward with them. So living from the essence, it's gonna have you cautious of who you merge yourself with. And that's not necessarily about fear, it's more about awareness and being conscious in your choices which is actually very healthy. And toxic people tend to not be attracted to that. You know, those kind of unhealthy toxic people, they're gonna be looking for the wounded woman who isn't really seeing clearly. You know, the kind of woman who doesn't really know who she is, the kind of woman who is afraid to speak up for herself. You know, they're gonna be looking for that easy prey. You know, someone who's easy, someone who's easy to feed off of and devour, who's not gonna put up much of a fight with them. <laughs> So by being self-sourced, you will repel unhealthy people. So when you're healthy, you don't have the interest to really play with people in their dysfunction. You know, you'll be able to spot it, but not get sucked into it. You know, you'll lose interest because it is a waste of energy and there isn't anything of value there for you that's being offered. So being self-sourced looks like being anchored in integrity with yourself it looks like having the ability to ask those difficult questions when things kind of seem off. It's having the ability to speak up, you know, set boundaries or say no when it's needed. And being self-sourced just has you take your time before letting somebody into your personal space. Now the thing with these toxic unhealthy people is that sometimes they will test you to see if you're serious about your boundaries. So that is another red flag to look out for, you know, which is people kind of pushing at you when you've set a boundary for yourself or, you know, trying to negotiate with you or talk you out of a limit that you've set for yourself. Toxic people tend to enmesh with people very quickly, you know, they will want to rush into things in order to distract themselves from their own inner pain. So 
with people like that, you're gonna notice a feeling of being invaded. You know, their energy just seems very invasive as they dig for more information from you. And it just creates an overall feeling of being smothered as your autonomy seems to be irrelevant to them. You know, they might, being around people like that is gonna feel very draining as they encourage you, you know, they're gonna try to encourage you to hand over your values for them and sometimes even guilting you or threatening you with abandonment and the loss of love or the loss of their approval or the loss of their validation. So when you're self-source and living from your essence, you automatically know that there's no such thing as losing love. You know, when you embody that inner knowing and really display in your behavior that you will never give yourself up, you, you win. You know, you'll always win in these kind of situations. And those toxic people tend to filter their way out because they're not going to be a match for you. You know, people like that, their games only work on people who don't understand their own value and worth. And it's very important to heal your original traumas and wounds from your childhood in order to get you to this point of being self-sourced in your journey. You know, so you can become embodied in the wholeness of your true self. Because oftentimes we do get imprinted from childhood with the idea that we're unlovable, that we're unworthy, that, you know, all we deserve is, you know, abandonment or being rejected or being left or controlled or abused. And if you do have that imprinting within you, it is going to have you gravitate towards people who confirm those deeper feelings and beliefs that might be there. So it is important to heal and kind of get yourself out of that so that you're not living from that anymore. And you can tell you're living from the masquerade by the way that you respond to toxic people. You know, so if you see yourself chasing after people like that, maybe when they distance themselves from you, if you start to internalize their behavior thinking that something's wrong with you, if you start giving in and kind of negotiating your values and your self-respect to kind of keep them happy, or maybe you, you start giving up your preferences or your boundaries because you have a fear of losing them or a fear of, being dis of them being disappointed with you. All of that are signs that you are living from the masquerade. And if you are, that is gonna make you more susceptible to toxic people. You know, you don't want to put all your focus into analyzing the behavior of toxic people because doing that is gonna cause a lot of frustration and chaos. This is more about getting you back to a place of wholeness and being healthy within yourself. And then from there, you will operate from integrity by only allowing people into your life who align with that standard that you have for yourself. So toxic people come into your life when they can smell your wounds, you know? So instead of focusing on them or trying to analyze their behavior or maybe you know, maybe analyze what they're doing or why they're doing what they're doing or try to fix them or try to control them or try to convince them to be another way or try to convince them to love you and treat you better. Instead, I want you to focus more on healing those pieces of you that called them into your life in the first place. You know, you can see dynamics like this as an opportunity to heal because they are showing you where you may need elevating. And then from there, you can reclaim your soul. So spend less time analyzing other people's behavior and focus more on you. Focus more on your healing, on your health, being embodied in that strength, in that worth, in that value for yourself. And once you have that solid understanding of who you are, you're going to be able to spot toxic people very easily and very quickly. And you'll automatically know to not get sucked into their game and you'll be able to repel them like that. All right, ladies, that's all for today's video. Thank you for joining me. I hope that was helpful. And as always, I want to hear your feedback. So share with me your insights, your comments, or your questions down below. And make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you can join me every Sunday for a Sovereign Sunday. All right, ladies, take care. Bye-bye.